All right, so this video is going to get you started with the Vim Tutor activity we need to complete for class. Uh, sometimes students are not in a place where they can create files and we need to do that. So at this point, just type CD by itself and that will take you back to your home directory if you're not in your home directory. And then to run Vim Tutor, we simply type Vim Tutor. That's all one word, uh, no space in between it, Vim Tutor. And that's going to open the Vim Tutor. So basically what this does is this uh, runs you down through uh, the basics of how, how to, to use Vim. So you can, you can look, uh, look at this and you can go, go down and um, do the lessons uh, that I've assigned. So the assignment is to do lesson one to lesson six. So that's not lesson 1.1 to lesson 1.6. But basically what you do is you, you read through here and do what it tells you. So I will tell you that this says, oh, learn how to move the cursors. To move the cursors, use the H, J, K, and L keys. So the arrow keys work for moving the cursor. I almost always use the arrow keys. The reason it uses H, K, J, and L is because the guy that created uh, VI initially used this keyboard and there were arrow keys on the keyboard he had uh, for when he was writing the program on the H, J, K, and L. So that's why it exists historically. Um, but the arrow keys on the side of your keyboard most likely work. Um, but just know that you can use H, K, J, and L if you need to to move around if the key arrows aren't working for some reason. So, uh, like I said, you're going to go through, you want to read everything, and you want to, you want to complete the activity. This goes over how to exit, which my other video went went over. So, so that would be a good good activity for you. Um, deleting text. Move the cursor to line marked below, marked with a dot with a arrow. Delete the extra characters. So you're gonna come down here, and it says, "Hey, press the X key to delete unwanted characters." So, press the X to get rid of stuff. So basically, that's how how this goes. You're gonna you're gonna work down through these activities, and it's going to. Um, it's going to help you get familiar with how to use how to use them. So that was the end of lesson lesson one. Now we're on to lesson two. So again, the assignment for this is lesson one through lesson six.